In 2023, more batteries were produced than in any other year in history, of course, but the number was enormous. In fact, the global battery market increased by around 50%, so it doubled. What were the biggest battery manufacturers in the world? Who lost and who won? Now, you'd be surprised to learn that Panasonic, one of Tesla's biggest suppliers, actually lost market share, whereas Chinese battery companies grew their share. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to see you. Now, I'll be at a fully charged new show, their live electric car show. It's called Electrify Everything. It's actually only about 12 days away, but from the 9th to the 11th of February. If you'd like to come, I've got a promotion code for 20% off tickets, and I'll put it in the description below. Love to see you there. Now, these figures obviously include a number of factors. They include energy storage. They include batteries going into some of the biggest battery packs in the world that are being used to back up solar and wind power generation. They include EVs and commercial batteries used for mining equipment or tractors or all kinds of things. What about electric lawnmowers? Well, they're included as well. Batteries for caravans. Batteries are now used in so many different devices, it's incredible. Now, of course, we have mobile phones, millions are manufactured every year. In fact, I believe it could even be billions, possibly now. But EVs still take up the largest percentage of battery production worldwide. The biggest battery maker in the world in 2022 was still the biggest in the world in 2023. That was CATL. CATL grew their market share from 32% in 2022 to 34% the following year. In second place was BYD with 16% market share. They grew their market share as well from 14% to 16% in 2023. So BYD are growing very, very quickly with their battery production. Definitely worth looking into whether or not you should consider investing in BYD stock. Now just to let you know, I don't currently have any BYD stock. I'm not trying to sell them to you, but I do think they're a very good deal at the moment, and they can be purchased on numerous different stock exchanges worldwide. Third place was LG Chem. Now, LG Chem, or LG Energy Solutions, as they'd like you to know of them right now, it, to be honest, LG Chem is actually primarily a petrochemical company. They primarily manufacture chemicals. But their side business, battery manufacturing, is the third biggest in the world. They used to be first but they've dropped to third. LG went from 17% market share in 2022 to 15% in 2023. This apparently was because of a lack of new orders and GM's falling out. They had a falling out with General Motors. Uh, they, therefore, GM apparently have canceled two of the factories possibly, and they haven't really ramped production of batteries as they said that they would. Been lots of issues with GM's battery factories, which were joint partnerships in the United States with LG Energy Solutions. Fourth place was Panasonic, who lost market share, not a whole lot, but they did lose it. They went from 9% in 2022 to 8% in 2023. In fifth place was SK On. They are a South Korean battery company who more or less maintained their market share. Samsung SDI are in sixth with 5% market share and CALB, Chinese battery maker, was in seventh place. Now, number eight for Asus Energy were actually the fastest growing battery company worldwide in terms of percentages anyway, not in terms of actual overall product and output. That was still CATL. But for Asus, in increased their deployments of batteries by a staggering 123%. That's just amazing, 123% growth. Its market share therefore increased from 1% in 2022 to 2% in 2023. In number nine was Envision AESC. They grew by 77%. And number 10, 10th place was Sunwoda, who grew by 55%. Now, the majority of these companies are, of course, in China or South Korea, but primarily China. But of course, we do have Panasonic, who are Japanese. This year, battery prices, uh, battery output will significantly grow. In fact, it will probably double again. All of these manufacturers have plans for new battery facilities. All of them plan on increasing output and all of them will have to reduce prices. They will have no choice because CATL, the biggest manufacturer in the world, wants to take some of them out. It wants to get rid of some of its rivals. It has said it will reduce prices by up to 50% by the middle of this year. Considering battery pack prices came down by nearly 40% last year, 
a further 50% reduction on those prices this year would mean it should theoretically be cheaper to make an EV than to make an internal combustion engine vehicle. And it will also mean that many of CATL's competitors won't be able to compete on price. They aren't big enough. And this is like trying to start up a chicken shop next to KFC. I mean, it would be very hard to stay in business. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.